Hey friends, Dave Legrand here. I uh, recently noticed, I'm uh, actually working on my uh, Nord Electro 4 here. I uh, recently noticed that there was something unfortunately rattling around inside of there and I was kind of nervous but I needed to go in and uh, make sure that everything was okay. It was playing great as usual, Nord products. Can't say enough about them. Highly recommend. But I wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything metal or anything crazy that could damage, uh, possibly damage the circuit board or anything like that. So I wanted to open this guy up here and uh, find out what what that was. So I'll, so I'll walk you through that. There's nothing right now online about how to get inside of these. Um, I don't recommend it uh, unless you're super sure about it. And I'm not a repair person, but... I'm a keyboard player that needs to work all the time, so I just want to make sure my product and my tools are in working condition. So that's the risk I took. I don't recommend it unless you are super confident. All right, so I'll walk you through this section here. First thing we're going to do is I've got my keyboard on a stand here. There's my lovely air conditioner. But there is a screw that doesn't match the... Sorry, the light's not that great. There's two rows of screws. There's one that doesn't match. Find that guy, and we're going to take that out. And I'll spare you the unscrewing details. But that screw is towards the middle and the back of the instrument. The okay, next set of screws we're going to remove are going to be the three, one, two, and three on the side. And we're going to take those out on that side. And we're going to remove the ones on this side as well. One, two, three. And we'll get to that. I'll go ahead and unscrew those. And we'll come back in a second. I, would, I do want to point out that there are washers on these. So be careful. Sometimes they'll stay in there. And sometimes they'll come out with the screw. So do be careful with those. Next uh, groups group of screws here that we're going to take off is going to be this entire back row. So there's going to be on this uh, 73 key model Electro 4, there's one, two, three, four, five, six right along the top here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, oh, excuse me, seven. Seven screws right along the top. All the way down as you can see, they need to come out. So we'll do that here real quick. Okay, all of, uh, all seven of those screws have been removed. We've got the three from each side here on the wood panel and then we have the one underneath uh, towards the center and back uh, and once we do that and we remove all the screws there uh, it's really just about lifting up all the way across everything comes up let me see sorry like so and we have exposed the, the lovely interior. Um, just be careful of that ribbon cable there. Not let that take too much uh, of a lean. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So it appears as though there is a ah a piece that has come off weight there for the weighted keys. It doesn't seem to be that huge of a problem. Everything, like I said, still works great on this model. Love the Electro 4 HP, can't say enough about it. Nor products in general. I've been fortunate enough to endorse their line uh, of instruments now for about three years. Love it. It's great. But uh, that's how you do it. Obviously, uh, you don't want to get in here and mess around with too many things, but I believe I found the culprit of that little 
rattle sound, and it doesn't appear to be anything major, so I'm glad to see that. I'm going to close this guy up and um, reattach all the screws, put them back in their places, and uh, go on to the gig. All right, thanks for watching. Hope that helped. And uh, once again, go out and buy some Nord products. They're great. Thanks.